binding in terms of a binding, not a binding contract or binding. Um, and no, I I am obviously referring to the art of binding. It's not an art. It's a shit. Um, but yeah, it. Oh, hello, hello. Even the microphone's not just not into it. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Um, right. I'm apologising to an inanimate object. So binding. I um had my top surgery back in January, um, early January, and yeah, I. Now, what, four or five months later, I, you know, obviously I'm free of binding. I don't need to bind anymore. I had to bind for a little while after, just a surgery binder. Um, and it's, it's glorious. I can't even, um, you know, it's part of, I, you know, I guess being trans and bef before the op that's being a trans guy, that's, um, Maybe one of the shittest parts. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You know, it sucks. <laughs> it's like it's res it's it's restricting. Yeah. Okay. So for anyone that's never had to wear one or never or or is not entirely sure, a this is just an example of one. This is a binder, um, like a, 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 a go over the head binder. They all usually go over the head. And they've got shoulders. Head and shoulders. So this is a sort of typical binder. Um, I didn't use this one much, to be honest, because um, it didn't fit. Um, it's obviously you can't see, but it's like a com like a net, like a very thin mesh um, that elasticates to a point, um, and obviously you get the size that is um, uh, suitable for you for for whatever sort of chest size you have. Um, I, or some, even like I did occasionally, and um, messed it up in this case, for a size less than what I was thinking. Oh, that'll do it. No, it didn't. No, it, it's not going to help. And you will probably end up messing up your size. Um, and they're not cheap. Um, I mean, some of like, I'll, well, I'll show you a bit cheaper, but this is a proper good one. And I was gutted when it came, but it came like, this was in like the early days, like when you had to get it from like America or some shit. But quite luckily now, um, we've got various outlets and things where you can get it, which I'll go into a bit later. So yes, yeah, so you'd wear this when you go out, you know, just to feel comfortable. To like, you don't feel comfortable in the sense of being comfortable because you can't breathe. Um, so, um, yeah, so they're very restricting, very compressing, but if you get the right one and stuff, it can do the job, and you feel great, and and you look great, and yeah, they're 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 a good kind of temporary kind of feel better thing, but um, but that sort of ties in with a few do's and don'ts. So, so yeah, so you typically wear the binder, um, yeah, just to compress everything, um, to look. I hate the term, but more manly, um, and, you know, um, to look male-bodied is what I, you know, prefer to say, just to <clears throat> present as the gender you are inside. So when buying, when choosing one, um, you want to get, um, don't buy, like, a, the size you are, or the size under what you are, buy, a bigger size because <clears throat> um, it's it's dangerous to compress yourself too much. Um, I mean, obviously, you can buy if you when you buy a lower size and you fit in it and you feel great, sort of thing. But it's not good, and you notice the difference um, in terms of later. Like, I still get chest pains now. It's my you know I get back aches like in different. Um, even though I've been, yeah, I've been without a binder now for four months, and <clears throat> I still, f like, I get the chest pains sometimes, because I, I made the mistake, just, I wore it a lot, like, I, you know, when you're feeling dysphoric at home or whatever, you wear it, you're not supposed to, you're only supposed to wear it, <clears throat> I 
can't remember. There's a certain amount of hours a day, isn't it? Um, between six and eight or something. And is that a lie? Um, something like that. You're not supposed to wear it long term, and you know, obviously, if you do, if you're out, out whatever, um, you will do. Um, but I, I would buy from the moment I got up to the moment I went to bed. Sometimes in bed, like that was how dysphoric I could get some day, some days. Well, I, if you can, to cut your binding, um, to just when you're out, and, um, because, yeah, because another thing with binding, like, I, I, everybody's different, obviously, but for me, I couldn't go to the gym, I couldn't do any of that, like, I've only really started being able to, like, ooh, exercise. It's so restricting, and I found myself, like, missing out on just loads of shit that I enjoyed, like I'd walk half a mile and I'd you know, struggle to, to breathe properly and stuff, it's, you know, so whenever you can, that's why I'd always advise maybe to get the bigger size, because it'll still do the job you need it to do, um, and you'll be safe, effectively, is the main thing, I guess, because um, binders are more about, I think, you you can feel fine in the there and now, but you will start noticing it um, as time goes on, sort of thing. Um, the side effects, at least. So that's why I'd say, yeah, from 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 the get go, um, do that. Um, in terms of like which binder to get, um, yeah, yeah, it's just on preference. I I preferred ones that cut off at the half. <coughs> Um, just because I'm a bigger guy, I'm, I'm fat, and <laughs> so, um, as nice as it is to have that belly tucked in, it's more restricting, and you've already got your chest, um, killed down, so, um, you know, I preferred not to just have everything, otherwise it was just really uncomfortable, so yeah, I might like, show you my favourite binder, this is like, oh, I need to wash this one, <laughs> So this was my um, like favourite, literally look, it's just a little cut off thing, and this was actually probably one of my cheapest binders, it was, um, by the end it wasn't binding really, it was just, it was just the thought of doing it, I think it was more psychological, um, um, yeah, it's, oh, it, it came from like China or something, um, give these, this advice and stuff, this is just my, my experience is not necessary necess ne ne it's not necessary it's not necessary necessarily don't do that mary um and another don't i would add um don't double bind don't um of course i did i double binded a lot um, which is stupid, um, it's not good for you in the long run, it's not good for your chest, it's, it's probably one of the bigger don'ts, like, because I buy binders and then after a while, I mean, some of them do, they lose their, um, potency is not the right word, but they, they lose their strength, they, it will feel like they're not doing anything, so, in my brain, I was like, all right, if I wear a second one, then that would be even better, because I can't afford a nice new one, so I'll just wear two. Um, no, it's, it's just, you know, so I'd have, like, just, like, a strap one, and then I'd just put the, the flat one I showed you over it, and it's, nah, it's, you know, it's not good, it's dangerous, and so stick to one, you know, um, invest, you know, obviously, invest, do some research in one you want, so, not like me, you end up with 15 that you don't bloody need, um, just do a little research, ask about, and, and hopefully you get the one you need, and then you won't feel the need to double bind, um, I, I, half the time I didn't really need to, it was more, it was all psychological, a lot of it with me, just with double binding, but yeah, it's not, it's not good, it's not healthy, and it, it can only really do you harm in the long run, and it's not, if you've got, if you get the right binder, double binding is just unnecessary anyway, it's just pointless really, because you're kind of, the second bind, the binder on top is, 
doing nothing if the one underneath is doing its job, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's a that's one of my bigger don'ts. Don't do that because that's I think half the reasons I struggled so immediately after. Like I struggled just with physical anything majorly physical, you know, like exercise or whatever. Um, um, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just thinking of filth. So, off the top of my head, I actually, I, I can't remember fully where I used to buy stuff. I, I went on Amazon and, so you had, um, what's the, Underworks. So you got Underworks, which is the big one. I will post a link. I'll post a link to, like, like I, I haven't bought, like, a binder from, like, for obviously a while. Um, so there may be some newer, better um, sort of shops. But the main two I know about are Underworks and G, G, something, G, 2, B, or something like that. I'll post them. I'll post them in the link for you. Uh, so yeah, it's one of those parts of being a trans guy that it sucks it does suck but like i say you you feel you feel great you feel good and it it you know it, it makes you happier just be sensible with it um don't do anything i did because it's not good um you know even though you feel fine um you will it will notice um just yeah be sensible with it just do it really when you need it, you know, and obviously if you're having a shit day, then yeah, that's cool when you're about on that, and um, but yeah, just, it, yeah, obviously I'll do a further episode on dysphoria anyway, but there's plenty of things to do, especially at home, to take your mind off things, and then you can, um, you can sort of forget about it for a little while, um, you know, they're, they're, they're becoming more red Red, readably, readably, readily, readily, readily. <laughs> They're coming more available. Um, as you know, time sort of goes on, and more awareness is going around, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, there's there's hopefully plenty of options and stuff, and which sort of just links me to kind of the end of the video, which is um. So I'm going to stop the video here, I'm going to leave it here so that, yeah, so it makes sense as a video. But I'm going to post a part two, um, so I'm, I've got like ten, no, just under ten, eight or so binders. So obviously I don't need any more, um, so I'd, I'd rather give them away if I can. So the next part of the video I'll just go over the binders I have, um, and their sizes and stuff. Um, um, so anyone interested in that, anyone interested in a binder, um, then yeah, then then click on. I'll post them at the same time. I will end it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, my first trans 101 video. Um, shambles that it probably was, but hey. Um, but yeah, that's sort of my experience and advice um, as far as binders are concerned. I mean. Yeah, you know, um, just be be safe. Don't overdo it. Um, get the right size. Um, you know, don't buy too small, and don't double bind. Um, you know, yeah, and you're golden. And obviously, hygiene. Um, wash it regularly. You know, as you would your underpants or whatever. Um, yeah, just wash. Keep it clean, keep it fresh, um, and yeah, and you're good to go. Um, and hopefully, it won't be, um, you know, and hopefully, before you know it, you'll be doing what I'm doing um, and giving them away. Um, so, yeah, alright, guys, thank you for watching. So, the I will end the video here. Obviously, for anyone not interested in a bind or what have you, you don't need to bother with the second video, that's that's literally just going to be me going through my binders, um, but if you would, if, you've, um, if you're from the UK, and because I, I, I probably, I just can't afford really to post out any further, I'd love to if I could, but obviously I'll 
I'll go for the UK. Um, um, Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, for anyone else, I will see you in part two. And I'll see you next time. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about next time. Um, it, but put suggestions of what you guys like me to waffle about in <laughs> unsure clarity um, in the future, and I will surely get on to that. Um, but yeah, okay guys. Thanks for watching, enjoy the sunshine, and I will speak to you soon. Peace.